proceeded to drive around and past me at a high rate of speed. I directly observed Mr. O'Neill look in my direction as he Shaquille O'Neal is listed as seven feet, one inch tall. He is one of the tallest folks around, and apparently he's been able to dodge the service of a lawsuit against him for him having been a spokesperson for the now defunct crypto platform FTX. In fact, here's a Yahoo's life story where it says Shaquille O'Neal reportedly may be hiding in his house to dodge FTX lawsuit. Now, what you're about to hear is remarkable because apparently Shaq got served, but not in the way that you might think somebody ordinarily would get served. This is odd. This is like straight out of like a James Bond 007 born identity style thriller. This is intense. And I'm going to go through the affidavit, the sworn affidavit with you, showing you how Shaq ended up getting served. Or did he? We'll talk about that. First, you have to know a couple things. When you're a party to a lawsuit like Shaq is, he's a party to a class action lawsuit uh, I have not read this lawsuit that he's involved in, but apparently it's against Tom Brady, uh, Giselle Bundchen. Uh, you've got even the Golden State Warriors were named in this himself, uh, along with a whole host of other promoters like Kevin O'Leary. This is different from the FTX lawsuit against a group of YouTubers that apparently is floating around out there. I've never seen any kind of papers regarding any kind of lawsuit like that, but this video isn't about me. This video is about Shaq. And so what I think is really interesting is this story right here. Take a look at this. My name is Juan Diaz. I am over 18 and I am of sound mind capable of making this affidavit and personally acquainted with the facts stated herein. As you can see, this is a U.S. District Court filing for the Southern District of Florida in the case of Edwin Garrison and all others via the class action, civil case number on the right, plaintiff versus Sam Bankman Freed and all others. In this case, it has to do with Shaquille O'Neal. Listen to this. This is wild. All right, you ready for this? So this is two days ago. This is on Sunday, folks, on Sunday. On April 16th, 2023, I personally served Shaquille O'Neal with a true and correct copy of the summons in the civil action. Okay, so when we think of personal service, usually this is handing somebody a stack of papers and saying you've been served. You can sometimes get away, although it's hard. You can sometimes get away with like, hey, would you mind giving these papers to someone? And that's someone's like someone's mom. And the person's like, sure, I'm the person's mom. I'll see him for dinner. I'll hand him off. That's called substituted service. In this case, you have personal service. And so Shaquille O'Neal was personally served, but the way he was personally served is mind-blowing. You ready for this? On April 16th, 2023, at approximately 4.02 p.m., during a drive-by spot check of Mr. O'Neill's residence, Mr. O'Neill was observed and identified as the sole occupant and operator of a black Ford Expedition with black rims. I was able to directly observe Mr. O'Neill as the operator of the vehicle. Mr. O'Neill was wearing a green collared long sleeve top up. Mr. O'Neill was observed as he drove out of the residential gate. As Mr. O'Neill started to exit the double exit gate, now this is important, think about this. When you're driving a car up to a gate, it generally takes time for the gate to open, right? Which would allow potentially somebody else to, um, let's just say, drive up to the other side of that gate, right? So you've got a little bit of a moment to spring into action there. If you're a process server, some adult who's been... Uh, basically deputized with the uh, with the premise that their job is to deliver these papers to somebody okay so keep that in mind as i go through this i also want you to keep in mind something very important if you too are tracking what's going on with netflix earnings did you know you could use this beautiful platform here and get up to 12 totally free stocks Paid promotion with Weeble. This video is sponsored by Weeble. You can get up 12 free stocks. 
Just go to metkevin.com slash free or use the link down below in the description. You can get 12 stocks totally for free just for signing up. This is where I've been doing my trading with. And you might enjoy it. Now, all of this is public information, totally available to the public via this affidavit. But what I want to do is share this for educational purposes. Take a look at this. This apparently is Shaquille O'Neal's house. And apparently this is where his vehicles are parked. My guess is because we could see a gate that's been added over here, which you actually don't see on Google Street View. My guess is the two process servers parked here and here and we're probably using binoculars like a stakeout to observe these vehicles so that's why when they say during a drive-by and spot check of o'neill's residence he was observed and identified as the sole operator of the black expedition okay makes sense so then he comes driving down the road okay now what does the road look like at the end well, when you go to Street View, you don't actually see a gate here, but you'll have to imagine that at some point a gate has been added here. This is the opposite side of the street, so it kind of gives you a lay of the settings. This apparently is, there's a little private property sign here. No, no gate here at this point. If we jump on over a little bit, you can kind of look up this way, and you can pretty clearly tell that if somebody were to get out of this property and get into their car, over here and you were parked at a better angle, you could probably see them get in, right? There's plenty of space over here to have a vantage point of, uh, of up that driveway. And if you've got binoculars, you might not even be noticed sitting over here, kind of eerie and creepy. But anyway, what ends up happening? So they were on both sides of the driveway, all right? Uh, and myself, along with David Dremel, drove to and parked in front of the residence, okay, sides of the, on opposite sides of the driveway along that drive I just showed you. So not up the driveway, but left and right of that drive. Mr. Dr uh, Damrell, with the legal documents, first exited his vehicle and attempt to approach Mr. O'Neill. I also exited my vehicle with legal documents. So you literally had two process servers. And the way to picture this is like two people with a bunch of papers, probably something kind of like this. Hey, hey, we have papers for you. Something to make it really obvious that they have papers for you, right? It even says uh, in their left hand and raise them to Mr. O'Neill's direct view. Mr. O'Neill, who at the time was at the edge of his driveway leading to uh, Brian's drive, which means he was probably down here, right? And then imagine you're parked here, your buddy's parked here, you're both getting out. Hey, hey, papers, papers, right? So what do we have? Well, we have, I also exited my vehicle with legal documents in my left hand, raised them in direct view of him at the edge of the driveway. And then Mr. O'Neill allegedly, quote, proceeded to drive around and past me at a high rate of speed. I directly observed Mr. O'Neill look in my direction as he sped away. During this time, I tossed the legal documents in front of O'Neill's Ford Expedition. Mr. O'Neill did not stop and continued to loudly accelerate away at a high speed, causing the legal documents to fall on the road. You can't make this stuff up. This is hilarious. <laughs> Mr. O'Neill, out of view, uh, out of view, I then departed the area, leaving the documents on the road where they landed. This guy basically just admitted to littering here. Below are photographs of Mr. O'Neill speeding away with legal documents where they landed on the side of the road. In fact, here you can see there's a lot more growth now than there used to be. And here you could see that doubled gate that sort of opens on the left and then opens on the right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And it looks like they've added a little, like, drop box or something to their uh, mailbox right here. Because you could see that looks like a very similar mailbox here with, like, a little attachment now to the bottom of it. But uh, clearly some kind of uh, fencing or whatever has been added. Okay, got it. What else do we have in this? So here, uh, here are some more. Oh, where'd the papers go? So that's where the papers are. And, oh, they kind of show them over here in the corner. Got it. Okay, papers on the floor. And then the above foregoing facts are true and within my knowledge. Here is the other guy's point of view. At approximately 4.02 p.m., 
man, they missed an opportunity to do this at 420. But anyway, look at this. I approached the vehicle while plainly displaying legal documents in front of my body with my left hand. Mr. O'Neill's Ford Expedition slightly swerved to the right, going several inches into the shoulder as he noticed Mr. Diaz, who was also present and parked on the opposite side of the driveway holding legal documents while also addressing Mr. O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill only increased his speed, revving up his engine as he fled the area. While the above event played out, there was a second vehicle that also witnessed the event that was exiting at the same time of a secondary driveway further down the road. The occupants of that vehicle were not known and remained at the second gate. Uh, Mr. O'Neill was uh, no longer in the area. That vehicle then drove out of sight somewhere else. Fine. I exited the vehicle and approached the Ford Raptor. That was the other vehicle. The operator rolled down his window. I informed the two male associates that Mr. O'Neill had been successfully served legal documents. The two assist assistants replied along with the lines of, We know nothing about that. You do your thing. I then returned to my vehicle and once inside, the passenger of the Ford Raptor exited and walked towards the rear of my vehicle as if to check my license plate. I then rolled down my window to acknowledge him. The individual told me that he already knew it was a rental. I replied that he would be able to get my information from the courts once service is filed. The passenger replied politely that I should do whatever I need to do and there was no problem. Okay. As I began to depart the area, I noticed a police car approaching my direction. I immediately pulled over to the side of the road. The officer pulled alongside me, rolled down his window to converse. I was then informed that there had been a call of suspicious vehicle. Uh, uh, parked along the side of Brian's Drive. It's presumably, Shaquille O'Neal called the police and was like, hey man, there's some weirdos outside my properties throwing papers at me, or <laughs> whatever he may have said. Uh, could, could you go check that out, right? All right. Uh, which uh, the officer, badge number name here, replies and says, just wanted to make sure y'all are okay, with which I replied yes and then departed the area. Wow. Now, we do also have the attorneys who filed this. They uh, apparently filed um, a uh, tweet on Twitter. There were some news stories about this, how apparently uh, they tweeted saying, Hey, Shaquille O'Neal, we got you. Uh, you better make sure you don't delete any kind of surveillance video that you have at your property because, uh, you know, you've been served and uh, we're now making sure you don't just delete evidence that you've been served. This is actually that particular tweet right here. Update. The plaintiffs in the billion dollar FTX class action case just served Shaq outside his house. His home video cameras recorded our service and we made it very clear that he's not to destroy or erase any of these security tapes because they must be preserved for our lawsuit. He said, it says here, you have been running from us for months and all other FTX celebrities have agreed to receive their complaints. Please have the courtesy to honor and simply allow our process servers tomorrow to deliver our legal complaint on your behalf. That was on the 13th. They ended up serving him on the 16th. Pretty crazy, but they finally got one of the tallest dudes around, uh, supposedly. Because now Shaquille O'Neal could probably file a motion suggesting, dude, that's improper service. I thought y'all were weirdos. I couldn't read what you were saying. You're standing outside my driveway yelling at me. I was afraid for my life. I called the cops. Could end up filing for improper service. Be really interesting to see what ends up happening, but that gives you a quick little update of what's going on with Shaquille O'Neal.